Hi dear students, today we will be reading poem The Children's Song written by Joseph Rudyard Kipling. Before we uh, discuss about the summary of the poem and explanation, let's talk about the poet Rudyard Kipling. He was an English story, short story writer, poet and novelist, chiefly remembered for his tales and poems of British soldiers in India and his tales for children. He was one of the most popular writers in England in both prose and verse in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Now let's talk about the explanation of the poem stanza wise. First stanza is, land of our birth we pledge to thee, our love and toil in the years to be, when we are grown and take our place as men and women with our race. Here Kipling speaks, sings for all children of the country. They are very grateful to their motherland for all good things that she had done for them. They promise to love her, live for her in the land itself. They will serve her after growing up, just like their elders did. Stanza number second. Father in heaven, who lovest all, O help thy children when they call that they may build from age to age an undefiled heritage. Here, the poet explains that the children are praying to God. God help your children when they call for your help. They pray to Almighty to help them to make their contribution in building an unsullied means unpolluted legacy. Your children will build over years a heritage that has a lot of culture, traditions and values in the society. They'll develop arts and crafts. The children inherit a grand heritage from their ancestors. So bless them also with same strength. Stanza third. Teach us to bear the yoke in youth with steadfastness and careful youth. That in our time thy grace may give the truth whereby the nations live. O oh God, teach them to be steadfast, careful in youth and be truthful. Teach them to control their youthful anger, rude emotions and work for good of society. They wish to strengthen their nation by firmly standing by truth. Here, students, careful truth means the truth which is unbiased focused and builds a strong, prosperous and developed nation. The truth whereby the nations live means the children who are the future citizens of the country pray to God to make them honest, responsible and truthful. They also pray to give them the strength to always stand by the truth as it is a strong foundation of a country's progress and prosperity. Stanza 4 Teach us to rule ourselves always, controlled and cleanly night and day, that we may bring, if need arise, no maimed or worthless sacrifice. Here the children, they are praying God. Teach the children to rule themselves nicely. Let them behave in a controlled manner. Let them rule cleanly without taking sides. If ever necessary, they make useful sacrifices. Let their sacrifices not go in waste. They aim at growing up to be disciplined and upright human beings capable of making supreme sacrifices for the motherland. Stanza number 5. Teach us to look in all our ends on thee for judge and not our friends, that we with thee we may walk uncowed by fear or favor of the crowd. Here, God teach the children to seek your guidance in all the difficulties. God will take care of them in all ways and directions. You are the judge of their actions, not their friends. Let them grow strong, brave and not be humbled by crowds. Children here request God to make them fearless so that they may be answerable to Him alone and not to be bother, bothered by praise or criticism of the people around. Stanza number 6 Teach us the strength that cannot seek by deed or thought to hurt the weak that under thee we may possess man's strength to comfort man's distress. 
here the meaning of stanza is god gave them strength that they cannot get themselves by thinking or by working give them strength not to hurt the weak but only to help a man in distress with their inner strength they wish to provide solace solace means comfort to those in misery rather than oppress oppress means to crush somebody to crush the weak ones now what's the message of the poem in the sub in this poem the children's song by joseph rudyard kipling children pray to god to enable them to serve their motherland when they grow up they seek the blessings of god to serve the country along with the other country men without any discrimination they love their nation and wish to work hard for its progress in the future they pray for the wisdom to do so and not to seek any favor from the crowd they pray that they can free the nation from all ills the children are praying to god to inculcate values like truth that makes a nation strong the children want to work for the progress of the society being virtuous and responsible they want to be self disciplined and have a control over their senses so that they do not deviate from the from the right path to give them strength to self sacrifice their own lives and everything dear to them but that sacrifice should not involve violence and it should have some positive results here the poet this one poem conveys a patriotic message the main message is patriotic message that the children will serve their motherland with all their strength and hard work for that one needs to be a perfect human being of great virtues only an upright man with moral character can fulfill the responsibility of serving the motherland so this is the message of the poem the children song written by joseph rudyard kipling i hope students you have understood the poem.